ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, actually, this presentation should be speaking early. Uh, it's uh, only a brief uh, introduction of what kind of Chinese Asian architecture. So many pictures, and I should speak quickly. Yeah, I want to talk about some program like this. Uh, it's uh, eight parts. And uh, the features of the Asian Chinese architecture and the urban construction and the uh, fourteen structure, the wailings, palace, and uh, the nature of the architecture and the garden. So at first we should talk about some features of Asian Chinese architecture. Uh, maybe somebody have been to China many, many times and uh, maybe look at some Chinese Asian architecture. Uh, actually, the concept of design for Chinese Asian architecture took its own unique path and form in its environment with its spectral, geographic, historic, and cultural background, which was completely different from the Asian European civilization. Uh, as you know, China is a country with a long history of farming, uh, solar terms, and uh, astronomic uh, phenomena uh, related to the harvest uh, were close the link to Chinese people's lives. The spectacular scene and the understanding of the astronomic phenomena constitute the core of the origin of Chinese culture. China is a precious country as well, which is based on the whole Chinese civilization from the uh, mystic age to early Qin dynasty, uh, involving with different uh, geographic environments and the various uh, in logic living styles has been spectacles throughout. In Chinese history, except for several uh, instances of temporary uh, division between the north and south, uh, China was united as a whole for most of the time. Uh, additionally, most of Chinese Asian construction activity took place in the historic stage uh, within space, time, and the space. Uh, actually, a building in China, uh, Asian time, is always uh, applied the three part uh, gallo boat, housing boarding, and the roof. But uh, Chinese ancient uh, buildings is not uh, promotion to the unit, but uh, promotion to them in the yard compilation is very important in Chinese Asian car architecture. So, uh, in most of Chinese Asian uh, buildings, is always use the timber structure. Yeah, actually. I research the timber structure in Chinese Asian uh, architecture. Uh, this is my major and now. Mm. China is a big country with varied uh, uh, nations from the south to the north and the, to the east to the west. It's very greatly to geographic uh, uh, and the environment and uh, perspective and uh, so on. The historic background and cultural tradition, habits, and customs of the each ethnic group is different from the others, and they have many different architectural styles of continent. However, construction with wood frame was uh, used in most parts of the country uh, throughout the past thousands of years, including planets, altars and the temples, uh, Masun room, as well as administra uh, mid administrative officers offer uh, temple for uh, ancestor worshiping, mm, Buddhist 
Buddhist and the Taoist monkeys are well widely used wood frame, which are also the main rep uh, representative achievements of Chinese ancient architectures. The demand for the management of hunter power in the ancient China based on agriculture created the highly uh, unit central state power and choosing wood as a basic material of structure doesn't only correspond to con the, the concept of China being an agricultural country, but also satisfy the central state power's desire to fulfill, fulfill the construction need from the society. The old construction technology and the artistic achievements of ancient Chinese architecture have been developing on, the, on this historic basis. Yeah, we have looked at the picture. Uh, this is the Sun Jot Collection, uh, the post with the beam. Uh, this part of the construction is from the six to seven thousand years ago. This is the Zhejiang Hongdu remix. This is the Mortis and Telon. Yeah, this construction. Yeah, we can look some model of the Chinese. Asian uh, architecture style. This, uh, the two buildings are also the pavilion of China. This also uses a timber structure. This one is a double eave, also a pavilion. This is a, the circle, the size plan. Mm -hmm. Uh, this building is uh, usually used in the temple as a man hill. Uh, it's an offshore wooden frame architecture of Song Dynasty. Yeah, this is a pagoda. It's all everything used timber structure. Yeah, everything. Yeah. We want to. Uh, make a new pagoda use timber structure and uh, maybe we can finish this project in next year. I will learn from this pagoda get uh, a lot of the idea and the structure. Yeah, uh, usually a Chinese ancient building is always uh, uh, Observed by the style limit at the bay, base, basement. Uh, this is a fun, fun, foundation. This part is a very important component of timber structure engineer. It was designed to meet the foundation requirements of protection from humidity and the weight. Uh, and the main purpose of the form and the side is uh, representing the social status and the position of owner of the house. Uh, this work kind of the display from the funerary objects in Han Dynasty. We can uh, two thousand years ago in China uh, with. What kind of the roof and the style of the buildings? Uh, this picture you come from the Donghuang uh, in Tang Dynasty. Uh, actually, is a new real. Uh, we can find find some Tang uh, Chinese Asian people living style in Tang Dynasty. This is a corridor. Maybe this is a hall. Next, this building. Yeah, uh, this picture is, uh, is a very famous uh, vehicles of China. It's Qin, the tomb of the Qin Shi Huang. 
uh, in Qin Dynasty. This uh, Qin Shi Huang is the first emperor in China in the ancient time, uh, more than 2,000 years ago. Actually, uh, this is a restored uh, of this building. Uh, maybe today it's only like a hill, like the pyramid shape of the hill uh, in Xi'an. But uh, my teacher, Mr. Yang Hongxun, uh, Professor Yang Hongxun, uh, he thinks the, the hill of, over the tombs of Qin Shi Huang, actually it's like this. It's the nine layers, light store, and with a big pavilion on the top of the hill. So this is his thought. But uh, this is uh, Beijing, uh, the forbidden city. The very most important hill in this uh, in forbidden city is the Tai He Dian Hill, uh, with three stored stage. It's very important building. So with three sta stage. The second part of the house is uh, the housing body. We see like this red area. Uh, Chinese traditional architecture is mostly of timber frame structure with the main hall made of wooden pillars and beams, both of which compose the module free work. Each module has two columns and beams that of more than two layers, like this one. Uh, this is two colors and with beams. Mm. We use usually one, two, three, four. Four layers beams. Uh, this, this area we can call the Jian, the Bay, explain the Bay. Uh, this Chinese uh, construction, the very important, the very uh, fundamental, the Bay is a very important construction. No. This Qin Dynasty uh, were kind of worst size of the building. With this house is with four pillars. This one is five. This one is six. This one is six with a corridor. This one is, uh, is seven pillars. And uh, different size of the building. This is a uh, wood construction of the of a building in Qin Dynasty. And uh, this corner, uh, this is a beam. Uh, and uh, this is a with a covered with the tiles. We can look at the different uh, uh, part of the color with the order. The Lu Dou, the Gong, Hua Gong, Gong Shang Zai Zai, Xiao Dou, Dou. Oh, okay. And uh, the finished the uh, order of the color. Yeah. This is a Song uh, style. Wu Pu Zuo, uh, this is, uh, means five layer of the order. Mm. So we talk about the roof. The roof in Chinese house is very, very important. It's uh, important, it's not, not only with the cover on the house, it's uh, important the city the status of situation of the owner of the house. This, the roof, the style is very, very 
important to Chinese Asian buildings. So uh, many, many architecture professors think maybe this roof is a very, very important character of Chinese Asian uh, building. We can work out of the roof of Chinese, uh, Chinese Asian architecture. This is a half roof. This is a platform. This is curve. This is Yin Shan. Uh, this is a uh, Xuan Shan. Uh, work handle. This is a Wu Dian. Uh, this is Xie Shan. What means the Xie Shan? Uh, actually, it's two roof style and the comparison as one. One is a Xuan Shan, is a over Hongji to the eve. And uh, this one is Wu Dian. Uh, so the two kinds of the roof and the composition by as one is Xie San. Uh, and uh, this is the Ba Jiao Zhuang Jian Di. And uh, there is a Lu Di. Uh, uh, all kinds of the different the roof style. Mm. Yeah, this is a Gong Tai He Dian in the Forbidden City in Beijing. And this is a Tian Tan Qi Nian Dian. Uh, it's a wrong Zhu Fu. It's three evers. <coughs> Different roof style. This is uh, a tower in the Forbidden City. This is a public uh, in Chengdu, Qingyang Gong. Uh, and now we talk about the country yard compilation. This is a very important uh, space uh, organization in Chinese ancient uh, architecture. This is a very important part. Chinese traditional building complex is famous for the compilation of different units, uh, panels, mausoleum, altars, and temples for both Buddhist Buddhist and the post monkeys, uh, government building, and so on, are complex and were composed of different units. Among them, the art of whole country yard are adapted to several a variety of purposes, both actually and spiritually, to be part of integral, part of the complex deserve our special attention. To some extent, counting yard are the key to traditional Chinese architecture complex. Yeah, this uh, mural of the Donghuang, uh, this is a maybe Tang Dynasty. This is a counting yard. It's a one counting yard. It's I mean. Uh, Yeah, this one is the Brick Leaks in Han Dynasty in Chengdu. Uh, this is uh, 2,000 years ago. A camping yard is uh, in a farmer house. And uh, there is a watchtower uh, in the right side of the camping yard. This is a monkey. Uh, there, there is the yard, uh, and this is the main entrance of the house. This is the first yard, the second yard. Yeah. But uh, this is the palace. Uh, this is the Gu Gong uh, in Beijing, in Ming and the Qin Dynasty, the emperor's living site. It's also Comparison with the yard, several yard. So we talk about the second part, the urban construction. In the ancient time, sites are the administration location for the owner of the service, and the founder, and uh, they represent the different achievements on economic culture and technology perspective for Asian China.
the remains of the north circulation of an ancient city war of uh, Shang Dynasty. It's a very early time in Chinese history. This is a war. The master plan of Zhou Kinder more than 2,000 years ago in Zhou Dynasty. This is the capital city, the city plan. Every side with three gates. Uh, and inside the city is several straight. It's always hurry and vertical. This is Chinese tactical city plan. In uh, Beiwei Dynasty, North Wei Dynasty, this is a city plan of Luoyang. We miss, uh, miss Tui come from Luoyang. Uh, this is uh, in North Wei Dynasty more than 1,500 years ago. The war of the city. The city plan of Jin Kang city is Nanjing. Uh, Professor Ruan has been lived in Nanjing for many years, and uh, this is the set plan of the Nanjing. In, but uh, it's not now, it's uh, uh, maybe more than 1,500 years ago. The war. This is uh, overlooking the hour of Chang'an. Actually, it's the capital of Han Dynasty of China. Uh, we can, it's also the, the square ships. This is uh, also Chang'an city, but this is in Tang Dynasty. It's later than Han Dynasty. So always use this side plane. It's a square. Uh, this is Song Dynasty. Uh, I have talked about the famous painting of uh, Qingming Festival on the river. It's a very famous painting in Chinese and ancient China. Uh, but uh, this painting is de described the uh, Kaifeng city in Song Dynasty. It's different uh, with the Chang'an and the, the other cities in the north. Yeah, I have talked about the Timbo's Arch Bridge in the, ye the day before yesterday. Yeah. Uh, this map is the uh, Pinjiang city. Actually, it's now Suzhou. Uh, just a moment, uh, Professor Ruan talked about many many beautiful classical garden. Most of them come from the Suzhou city. Yeah. But uh, this is Song Dynasty, the city plan. OK, this map is the Mingqing Dynasty, Beijing city plan. Uh, if somebody has been to Beijing, maybe can you can a part of Mm -hmm. This one. There are a lot of different elements. Yeah, yeah, and now it's very bigger than this one. This is only Yin Min and the Qin Dynasty, the master plan of the city. This is the Suzhou Yin Qin Dynasty, Qianlong. Uh, Amper Pierre. <coughs> but maybe we can find some difference uh, between north of China and the south of China. There is a, a little different. This is uh, in Changzhou city. There is a very old uh, city plan. More, it's closed 3,000 years ago. This is Shanxi Pingyao. Uh, it's a very famous ancient county in China. And uh, Michael, I have been to this city many times for international graphical uh, photographer. Yeah. 
Uh, this city is a very typical of the ancient Chinese city. This is Lijiang, Yunnan province, is a southwest of China. It's a, a typical south of China, the ancient city. Some uh, relics of Xinjiang. Now talk about the uh, foot file structure. This is a third part. Uh, foot, uh, this uh, type of building maybe everybody know very famous Great Wall in China. Yeah, the Great Wall uh, is this kind of building. Actually, we w went to Beijing. We have uh, visit the Great Wall. Actually, that Great Wall is building, built, uh, built in Ming, Ming Dynasty. It's only five or six years old. But uh, actually, 2,000 years ago in China, and the tall Great Wall, not built uh, with brick and stone usually use the arts. Uh, if you have chance to the Dongguang uh, in Gansu province, you can visit many, many Great Wall in Han Dynasty, uh, built with arts, stood. Uh, but this is in Ming Dynasty, Beijing. Uh, great. Jiang Yiguan Castle, Gansu Province. Actually, this is a waste great wall, this part. The east gate of the east part of the great wall in Shanghai Guan Gate, Hebei Province. This is the east part of the great wall. I talk about the winning on this settlement. Actually, the dwellings maybe the far is the earliest of building in every country. Uh, this station house is among one of the first building temples in Huyong Market Tree in the uh, Panonistic area. Literal caves and the wooden lists are the places people lived in winter and the summer time. Respectively, the first time social division of labor gave rise <coughs> to travel of clan of people, which also signifies the origin of architecture, agriculture. The second time social division of labor liberated hand making industry and commerce or from agriculture, where the villagers as well as cities that dominated by low farming industries began to replace the previous travels of clans. Among with this trade, and because of the difference in living styles and the environments, the station houses for Elite people in both cities and the villagers began to involve in the development of a long history. We can look at some the very, very old, maybe the beginning of the house of the dwelling. In Xi'an, Banpo, it's more than 6,000 years ago. Where the picture is the restore of the Zenix? The full temple with the sign. Yeah, there is the restore of the site of Feng, Feng Chu, Xizhou, uh, the West Zhou Banister is uh, 3,000 years ago, the Kangping Yard. 
adjoining. This counting yard house in Beijing, Chihe Yuan, is very famous now in Beijing. Uh, this is a gate. The main entry is always not on the main axis. It's always moved to the southeast situation. Uh, the second uh, gate, we usually call the Chui Huaman, is the second gate. And this is the main yard. This is the main hill. And the west wing, east wing wing of the hall. Yeah, this gate is, uh, I just uh, uh, mentioned the Chui Huaman, the second gate of the county yard. It's Ping Yao, the Chao Jia family house. Gate. Yeah, there's another kind of the Diwini, the cave Diwini in Gongxian, uh, Henan province. So under the ground. Cave, uh, little cave. On the cliff. But it is a water town in south of Yangtze River. Yeah, this is interior of the timber structure. This is in Zhejiang, Yi Wu County, with more decoration, the curved sculpture. The Qin Dynasty. There is the old all the water town is close Shanghai, Zhujiajiao. Uh, if you have chance to Shanghai, you can visit this town. It's maybe uh, 30 kilometers away from Shanghai, from downtown Shanghai. This is the Anhui Yixian uh, Diwali. Uh, it's a typical of Hui, Hui style. Uh, the villagers, bridge in front of the dwelling. Yeah, this is another very famous dwelling in China. This is uh, in Fujian. Is the earth stored <coughs> the circle? It's a wrong plan. You have to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's a very interesting divinity. Yeah. Yeah. This is another kind of the divinity in Fujian province. It's also very old. This is the main exit. This is a gate, main entrance, and the second. Uh, Second hall and this third hall, main hall, and the west wing, east wing, and there is a screen wall. I will call it Zhao Bi, and there is a lotus palm. It's a typical Han nation's divinity style. The part of this building, yeah. like this, the main trees, uh, west wing, east wing. Mm. But uh, this is the south of China, Hunan, uh, the villager. Uh, this style we, we call it Gannan style. It's everything made in wood. It's this is Guizhou province. This is a Dong license. It's not Han license. Dong, Dong Zhu. Uh, this is a local house in Naxi, uh, 
Yongmin, Yunnan province, the Pontadipo. Okay. The bamboo house of the Dai Lesnit, Xishuang Ban La, Yunnan province. This style is always uh, is also the Gannan style. Uh, what's meaning the Gannan style? It says you use the post supports the liver style, a liver a living floor. Yeah. It's another kind of the structure of the dwelling. It's uh, Xinjiang or Xizang part of like this one. Outside, they use the stove uh, wall, but inside is always with timber structure uh, in the ancient time. This is Xinjiang vigor relationally to the winning. Uh, we call it uh, Ai Wang, maybe the vigor ceiling. Like this. Okay, we talk about the the first part, palace, temple, and tomb. Palaces, temples, and uh, the emperor tombs are the most important construction in ancient China. It caused each garment a great amount of manpower and materials and applied the most advanced technology and uh, art at the time in the past thousands of years. Therefore, to a certain extent, they could reflect the architectural achievement for a certain period of time. Panaces. The Chinese ancient panaces with step by step and the evolution. The arranging of the panels is very simple. This three thousand years ago, we restored the panels in, in Xia Dynasty. It's very simple with the corridor, the entrance and the main hall. But uh, this is the Qin Dynasty, maybe 1,000 years, 1, years later. And uh, like this, it's uh, complex. And uh, 1,000 1, years later, it's the Tang Dynasty. The panacea is like this. The, also in Tang Dynasty more details, the Dogong system. The 1,000 years later, the Minqin dynasty, uh, 500 years later. Uh, Beijing, uh, the Taihe Dian, Zhonghe Dian, Baohe Dian. Uh, the ceiling inside of the Taihe Dian. This side is the emperor. <laughs> Sending uh, with the dragon. The yeah, dragon is a, is a symbol of the emperor. So in ancient time in China, the dwelling cannot use the dragon as a sculpture. Never, if you use the word car. <laughs> It's a ceiling with a little painting. The wrapper, the beans, the color. Yeah, this is the Amper style uh, garland. Qu Shui Liu Shang. It's a game of the ancient and the scholars always uh, drink on the pond. I remember last day, uh, yesterday, there is a professor talk about uh, the Qu Shui Liu Shang, about this. 
Mr. Young, Pinus, Temples. This temple is in Han Dynasty, Ming Tang. Uh, it's a recovery imagine figure. Uh, Beijing, the Temple of Heaven, the Gate, Lin Xinmen, Qi Lian Dian, the Ceiling. This is Sanxi Taiyuan, Shandong Qu Fu, the Kung Fu Ji. The whole town. Shima Qin Temple. Du Fu Temple. Fan Zhong Yan Temple. Yue Fei Temple in Hangzhou. Waste is called Waste Lake. It's very famous. Actually, in China, in the ancient time, the tombs of the emperor we call the Lin Mu. It's different of the common people's tombs. Very famous emperor tombs of is Qin Shi Huang tomb. This is the in Zhang Guo, all in states period. Time there is a Emperor State. It's a restoration of the Emperor's tomb. This is hundreds of uh, uh, tombs inside the Katsuas and uh, the color with Dogong. Everything is made in stone, let's with timber. But uh, we know under the ground, use the timber is not permanent. It's only used a stall or brick. Uh, uh, actually, this is a different uh, philosophy of Chinese ancient time. They think the living people should live in the timber structure. The dead man should need the stall of ours. But the space and the composition of the site is the same. It's different in material. It's uh, yin yang wu xin. It's uh, the thinking of Chinese. The Han Dynasty, the gate, the chue, uh, the gate with two chue. Actually, the chue is meaning this space. Hmm. This is Qin Shi Huang Bin Ma Yong, it's a very famous in Qin. Yeah, maybe somebody to Xi'an will be visit here. The horse, very carpet. Mm. This is Ming, Ming Dynasty, the tombs of the emperors. It's like the palace, it's the same style, it's no problem. Uh, this is Chen, embody the Chinese philosophical. Uh, the living people, the dead people, should live the living people's style. It's the same, don't different. Qin, in Qin Dynasty, the tomb of the. Like a palace. So we talk about the the face, religious architecture. There is a variety of religious appearance in ancient China. The most important ones are Buddhists, Buddhists and Taoists and Islam. Buddhist temples is very popular in China both in ancient time and today. This is the Tang Dynasty, the Lan Chan Temple. This one is the oldest one uh, temple in China, till today. 
，还是佛光寺 temple？ This is temple structure. This corners. This is the puzo layers of the beams. This is roof. Dulo is the elevation of the te temple. Shen Kong is. Yeah. Sanxi Da Tong, Sanhua Temple. Yonghe Gong in Beijing. Actually, this temple is a one of the emperor of Qin Dynasty living house. When he was the emperor, and he gave his house uh, to the monkeys as a temple. So this is the Yongzheng Huangdi's dwelling before, and now is the temple. This is Hebei Chengde, like the tablet style. Yeah, this is the tablet in Nasa Hudalakong, very famous palace. At the same time, it's a temple. You will know the interpret is the religious and the government as one. So the red part is a temple. The white part is a house of the monkeys. The other side is a garden. The pagoda of the Buddhist, but this is only in Tibet. This uh, Buddhist temple in Yunnan, it's a different style of the temple and uh, with the uh, Chenang Han Lesson lips iri. The Suzhou Sanxi Wu Tai San, very famous Buddhist iri. Buddhist pagoda. This is a uh, there's a way better style pagoda. Now this one I've talked about many times, the Yinxian Mu Ta, it's a very famous uh, Kimbo structure. More than, yeah, maybe 1,000 years ago. Quanzhou, uh, Kaifeng Pagoda. The Shaolin Shi, Song Dengfeng Song Yue. Xi'an. Yunnan, Luoyang, Xi'an Da Yan Ta, Shaolin Shi's this Ta Lin, Huan Tian Shi Ta. This is a Lama Ta. It's a, it's different with the Han Legend Iron. The Mi Zhong uh, Temple. This pagoda style is the Jing Gang Bao Zuo Ta. It's with uh, it's uh, a big stage. Over the stage there is a five pagoda. Each side with one, and uh, in the middle with a big one. This style is Jing Gang Bao Zuo Ta. Like this. Yunnan. This is Jin Chuang. Uh, this one is Jin Chuang. Uh, rock cave. Donghuang. It's very famous. Donghuang Shi Ku. Yungang. Luoyang. Longmen Shi Ku. Yeah, in Tang Dynasty, it's very popular to uh, build in temple and uh, uh, make the cave. This is a Buddhist sculpture. There is a very interesting story about uh, this sculpture. In that time, the Wu Zetian Emperor is a king. Is a, actually, she is a queen. 
but she want to be a king of the Tang Dynasty. Uh, she makes this one, and uh, somebody said this face of this Buddhist is like a Wu Zetian face. Yeah, it's a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. This one, Gan Shu Tian, Xinjiang. I'll talk about the Taoist architecture. Actually, the different of the religious building is uh, that different uh, with the shape with the uh, buildings. It's the same style. Uh, inside, maybe the sculpture is different, but uh, outside it's the same. You cannot, uh, if you if nobody told you what is the Taoist uh, religious building of Buddhist, you cannot uh, recognize from the outside. You cannot. It could close me. I cannot different distinguish it. It's the same. This is Chinese philosophical. It's the same shape of all kinds of the building. This is Wu Dang San the Dao. Beijing, the gate of the, this is the ceremony gate of the, some important, well, usually it is located in front of the most important uh, buildings. There is the ceremony gate. Uh, actually, in the Chenan town, in the street, east of the street, there is the ceremony gate. Uh, Taishan. Uh, the last one is the Islam architecture. But uh, at the beginning, the Islam architecture is a very, uh, it's different with Chinese building. But uh, at the later by later, the architecture use the Chinese style. It's a very interesting. But this is the Islam style. And now, Changed it into Chinese style. <laughs> this is Chinese culture. Yeah, it's. Uh, yes. Uh, this is in Inner Mongolia. Uh, it's also an Islam temple, but uh, Chinese style is changing. This is also Xi'an, uh, but. Uh, you look at this picture, you cannot distinguish this is the Islam temple or Buddhist temple. <laughs> it's the same building. Oh. This is <coughs> Islam temple in Shanghai. It's in Yuan Dynasty. Beijing, Liu Jie is also Islam temple. Do you disagree? No. <laughs> okay, then last part uh, we talk about the uh, garden. Chinese garden and uh, landscape architecture. It's uh, very typical and uh, unique in the world. Yeah, if we, uh, we can divide the Chinese garden with two parts. It's uh, one is the lesson. Emperor garden. The other is a literate garden uh, in south of Yangtze River. Chenan has an old tradition of respecting nature, tracing back to the ancient time, thus the exploration of building the nature landscape, such as the tradition Chinese garden with trees, hills, Zoning water inside was cultivated on the on this ground and achieved it great success along the evolution in involvement in Chinese art and history. In Song Dynasty, the, the painting is also uh, described a garden. In Yuan Dynasty, Qin Dynasty, the painting. Uh, this is a nurse emperor garden. 
Actually, this is a amper, only used by amper in Ming Qin Dynasty. And now it's a public park. And you went to Beijing, uh, you go to Beijing, you can visit here. So five pavilions by the river is the site of the Yi He Yuan, Ho Xianggen Pavilion. The Stowe Arts Bridge. Yeah. Although this is an Amper Garden, but uh, in Qin Dynasty, uh, there is a two Amper's went to south of Yangtze River several times, especially uh, in Qianlong Amper. Uh, he likes the Suzhou Gardens very much, and when he came back from Suzhou, and uh, he ordered the Amper building a pseudo style garden or with this buildings in the Yi He Yuan. This, this style is actually the pseudo style, but uh, moved to Beijing. The Amper like it very much. This is a waste lake in Hangzhou. Hebei. Yeah, this is also an uh, Amper Garden, but uh, learn from the West Lake uh, from Hangzhou. This garden is Ji Chang Yuan uh, in Wuxi. It's also in south of Yangtze River area. Uh, this garden is very beautiful. The Emperor Qianlong uh, went to there and liked it very much. And he also ordered the, the officer, the local officer, to move the, uh, not move, it's uh, immigrate the garden in Beijing, the beauty one. But everything can immigrate, but uh, the hill cannot be immigrated with the pagoda. So, although the Qianlong uh, Emperor make a new one, Ji Changyuan, in Beijing, but uh, cannot make the hill and the pagoda. So, this garden is very beautiful. I like it very much. If you have chance to Wuxi, you must uh, visit it. Liu Yuan in Suzhou. This garden also as the scholars of the owner's house, just uh, uh, taught by Professor Zhuan, uh, there is a site plan. Yeah, this this part is a garden. Actually, this part is a dwelling of the owner. Shanghai Yuyuan Garden. 